offers tons of agriculture products used in the manufacturing of automobiles. So this includes commodities like corn, for sure, hemp, canola, and flax. They use corn, for example, this is awesome. In spark plugs, true story, hemp in interior fabric, canola is used in lubricants, and then flax fiber in brake linings and door panels. Very cool. Did you know in 1900, a Canadian farmer produced enough food for only 10 people? Today, a farmer can feed well over 120 people. The medical world relies on beef byproducts for many medicines and therapeutic products. There are over a hundred that are commonly used in human medicine. Uh, two of the more common ones are cortisone and insulin. Did you know that cows and ducks have a lot in common? Both need grass and water to survive. Cattle farmers are some of the best stewards of the land and a lot of the practices they do are very environmentally friendly. Did you know that carrots were first grown as a medicine and could be orange, white, yellow, or purple? Did you know that raspberry canes can be harvested in the second year after planting and can last more than 10 years? <laughs> The bee actually has to travel 80,000 kilometers and pollinate over 2 million flowers just to produce one jug of honey. Wheeler, I got an idea for a new trivia contest to give away bomber tickets. What is the only product that comes from a pig that's not food related? Huh? Uh, non-food item from uh, piggy bank. Not uh, a piggy bank. Not a piggy bank. Uh, well, if I uh, had to go off the top of my head, use your clip play with voice if you're gonna sprout knowledge. It's a well-known fact that uh, a lot of uh, non-food items come from pigs. A few of them happen to be uh, crayons, cement, insulation, cellophane, matches, glue, chalk buttons, glass, wall wax, fine china, lubricants, eh? Plastics, rubber, fertilizer, and cosmetics. I was thinking the football. That's the one that I knew. The good old pigskin. Yes, so of proud of that. No, most people know that the football is called the pigskin, but uh, that's way too easy to answer. Okay. My name is Kurt Siemens, and I'm an egg farmer here in Rosenort. Together with my family, we farm uh, 20,000 birds. A ham lays eggs without a rooster being around. There is no roosters in our barn. Actually, the only male in a, in a barn of 20,000 birds is myself, so there's one male and 20,000 females in the barn. White chickens, they lay white eggs. Brown chickens, they lay brown eggs. So whenever you go to the stores, you know where your, your eggs came from. Did you know that one bushel of wheat has almost one million kernels? Did you know that corn is an ingredient in more than 3,000 grocery products? Another note, the word canola derived from, ready? Canadian oil and low acid. That equals canola. Hi, my name is Megan Smith and I'm the captain of the University of Manitoba Bison Women's Soccer Team. I grew up on a dairy farm. Did you know that the grass for the soccer pitches at the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa was grown here in Manitoba? 